Yo, man, it's Marcos TVG. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's gonna be showing off my dogs, explaining the dogs and stuff. So viewer discretion is advised. You're gonna see some aggressive ass dogs in this video. They not fighting. They not used to fight. They used for protection. So just sit back, enjoy the dogs. We'll see you guys next time. I'm out. All right, y'all. Before I'm about to die, this is gonna happen to y'all. My dogs will know you. We got a complete stranger right here. So y'all know. I'm coming to y'all. I don't know what's up, too. But I ain't even turned up yet. This is all the hope. Video start I'm for y'all to follow me on Instagram. It's gonna be Marcos5 with two eyes at the end of it. That's Marcos5 with two eyes. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Yo man, it's Marcos TVG back with another video and today we got Gona. I know a lot of people be asking about Gona. What's his background and all that? They know the dogs barking in the background, show y'all. Everybody is gonna have their own video, so if you want to learn about any of these dogs, comment down below and I'll tell you. But I'm gonna tell you a little something about Gunner. Listen down, my boy. Uh, this is Gunner. He's Edge and Remy. He came out of Meridian, Mississippi. I bought him when he was 14 months old. He's not aggressive, he's not human aggressive, not dog aggressive, none of that. He's pure bully, as y'all can tell. You. But he got a little scar on the back of his neck. I know y'all gonna ask what happened. He broke loose and Mufasa got on his head, so. That's why you got the little scroll on the back. But if y'all have any questions about Ghana, what do y'all want to ask about? You got what I'm saying? Y'all got questions. Y'all gonna be like, y'all gonna come up with some shit. Just comment it down below. This is Ghana. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Marco TVT, till next time.
y'all don't know, this is the father, the king of the jungle, the Tug of War champ. <laughs> Has never lost. Never lost the game of Tug of War. So I can see he got a little scratch on his face because he got into a fight recently. Not on purpose, it was for protection in the old. So, I don't pass that, but I says Eli Boudreau to raise the edge and got it. Extremely, extremely game when it comes to um, dogs and all that. So he dog aggressive, and he's not human aggressive at all. Zero human aggression. So if you see him on the street, don't walk up on him. Because all my dogs trained to attack, I'm going. What did I say? I'm, when I say front human aggressive, I'm saying when I'm not around or if I, you know what I'm saying? He tell him to pitch. Yeah. But Bella, anybody out here, if I tell him to get you, they're going to get you. Remember that. If I tell them to get you, they're going to get you. So don't think you just walk up to a dog however you want yeah. to. Okay. Don't walk up on my dogs without my permission is what I'm saying. So this is Mufasa. Wait, so be quiet. To the next dog. Bella, here. See? She's my pit bull as I'm teaching trying to. Pure game for it. Rare boy to Jocko. And tense dog, man. Quick mouth and everything. Y'all gonna see some workout videos on her in a minute. Extremely aggressive to humans and dogs. Not friendly, not a pet. Never would be a pet. She's clearly working on it. But as I can see, it's just the sweetest she can be. Extremely protective. This is an intense dog. Red Boy Jocko. On to the next dog. Eli Boudreaux to raise the edge and got it. Quick mouth. Extremely aggressive to dogs. Extremely aggressive. He's not extremely aggressive to humans yet. But he got a little human aggression in him. This son of Bella that y'all just seen. And he's going to be the son of to Mufasa. To the next dog. Consider an XL bully because of height. XL pit bull, whatever you want to call it. She huge. Might not look like that because y'all is in the air, but in person, she a big dog. Sit down, baby. Still a puppy at heart, y'all. We waiting on her to come out her shell to see what she. She got a little human aggression in her, protection wise. Dog aggression it shows outside the yard. She not aggressive to none of my dogs at all. Picking the paws. Look at the pile on that. What the hell I get some blood for? Why not bleed on the ear? Mm -hmm. Yep, not aggressive at all. Big tweaks. <laughs> Night. The owner I got her from told me that she was a lab German Shepherd. This was one of my first dogs at the yard. So, Midnight came around in a bad time in life, so she's not going anywhere. I know a lot of y'all be coming, asking me why I'll get rid of Midnight and all that. But she's a good dog, man. She trained, everything, energetic. She, I'm going to register her, register her as a service dog soon, and I'm going to get her spayed up. But this is Midnight. Oh, about Midnight. This is my puppy keeper. I let her watch over the puppies while I'm gone. I, I can throw a puppy in the cage with her. 
She's gonna train them. She's gonna show them how to defend themselves. She's dominant to other dogs, you know what I'm saying? She's human friendly by far. No aggression to humans. To dogs, she's dominant though. You know what I'm saying? But to puppies, she's perfect. That's why I throw I could throw a whole litter of puppies in her cage with her. She's gonna train them and take care of them and stuff like that was her own. Even though she never had a litter before. So this is midnight. A good dog. Smart dog.